Hello. In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. Every integer greater than or equal to two is either prime or a product of primes. Now, in proving this theorem, we are going to use the following fact regarding prime numbers. Given any integer m greater than or equal to two, we have that m is not prime if and only if m is equal to a times b, where a and b are integers such that one is less than a is less than m, and one is less than b is less than m. So now let's get into proving this theorem. Now, since we're trying to prove a statement about every integer greater than or equal to two, let's use strong induction. And to use strong induction, we start out by giving ourselves an arbitrary integer greater than or equal to two. I'll call it n. And we suppose that for all integers k greater than or equal to two that are less than n, we have that k is either prime or a product of primes. And the whole goal now is to show that n is also either prime or a product of primes. If we can show that, that will close the induction, and we will have shown that for all integers n greater than or equal to n is either prime or a product of primes. So how are we going to show n is either prime or a product of primes? Well, we're going to split this up into two cases. We know that either n is prime or n is not prime. Well, let's first consider the case that n is prime. If n is prime, then we're done because we have that n is either prime or a product of primes. So this completes the case where n is prime. So now let's consider the case where n is not prime. Well, since n is not prime, we can apply this fact. If we take m to be n, well, since n is not prime, we have that n is equal to a times b, where a and b are integers, such that one is less than a is less than n, and one is less than b is less than n. Now, since a and b are integers, to say that one is less than a is equivalent to saying two is less than or equal to a. Similarly, one is less than b is equivalent to saying two is less than or equal to b. But now, since these two inequalities are true, we can apply our induction hypothesis to a and b. First of all, if we take k to be a, we have that a is either prime or a product of primes. And also, if we take k to be b, we have that b is either prime or a product of primes. And so, four possibilities arise from this. One possibility is that A is prime and B is prime. Another possibility is that A is prime and B is a product of primes. Another possibility is that A is a product of primes and B is prime. And the other possibility is that A is a product of primes and B is a product of primes. But no matter which one of those four possibilities is the case, well, since N is equal to A times B, we must have that N is a product of primes. So we've shown that n is a product of primes, which means that n is either prime or a product of primes. So now putting this all together now, we start off by using strong induction. And to use strong induction, we give ourselves an arbitrary integer n greater than or equal to two and we suppose that for all integers k greater than or equal to 2 that are less than n, k is either prime or a product of primes. And from there, we proceeded to show that n must then be a prime or a product of primes. So, because we've done that, this closes the induction. And so we have shown for all integers n greater than or equal to 2, n is either prime or a product of primes. So we have proven the theorem. And so this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.